All right, hey everybody, welcome back to the eBay shop. My name's Corey. I'm Teresa. And we are Grams and Pops Vintage. In this video, we're gonna pull some items that sold over the weekend, and we're gonna talk about a few topics that we've been discussing here amongst ourselves a little bit. We're gonna share that, some of that with you. So stick around, let's see what's sold, and what's the first item we got today? We sold some jewelry. We sold a fuchsia pink rhinestone statement necklace. So that's that one there. All right, so one gaudy grandma necklace and that was in one of our jars that we got from the Goodwill, right? Yep. So we bought a couple of jars from the Goodwill. They're jewelry jars. We paid way too much for them. I like wonder we, whose fault that is. Well, it's Goodwill's fault. They made them too expensive, but I was taking them home one way or the other. So I think we paid 60 something for one of them. 66 and, and 49. 49. Anyway, it was, it was our tuition. We were paying to learn about jewelry. This is one of the things that was in it. Mm -hmm. So cost-wise, I don't know what we've got them divided out yet, but we've got a long way to catch up. Actually, I think we've already sold like 40 bucks worth of jewelry. Yeah, we sold those earrings that, I don't know if you want to talk about that, the weird thing that said that they closed their account and to watch out. Sure, why not? But we do have some money back from this. Is that yes. the only ones we've sold? Because those are 20-something. I think that might be. So we're $20 we've got back, and then these just sold, and these sold for how much? $12. $12 plus shipping or free? Oh, free shipping. So we get like five, five or six bucks after fees on these or 25 bucks back on our investment. The thing she was just talking about with the earrings, somebody ordered a pair of like enamel old vintage Avon earrings from us. They were $20 or something like that plus shipping. Just the other day, we got an email from eBay saying this is a weird account. Something's fraudulent or suspicious. We're closing it. If you could recall the shipment, go ahead and do that. Don't worry about refunding it, right? Is that kind yeah, of the gist said, of it? don't refund it. Just, it said something about if you've shipped it and you can contact the shipper to recall right. it back, but don't refund it, we'll be in touch with you. Only we already shipped it and it was already delivered way before we got that email. Yep. So basically they're saying it was kind of a scam account, but it sounds like eBay stood behind us. They're gonna let us keep the money from the sale. Sounds like it's gonna come out of their pocket and eBay is gonna eat the loss, but they've killed the account and that's kind of where they left it. Mm -hmm. It was weird. Yep, it was, it was weird. So eBay got scammed on that one. We didn't because eBay stood behind us, which was great. So that's where we are with our jewelry jars at the moment. What do we got next? We sold a Motormax motorcycle. Motorcycle. Looks like it's that green one there. They're pretty cool motorcycle, like die cast motorcycles, but they're, I don't think they're all die they're cast. Not I all think die they're cast. plastic. Some of them are plastic. Scares plastic. the crap out of me to ship them because everything on this is breakable and twistable and bad. And shipping that'll be fun. We'll have to pack it really well. What'd that sell for? A whopping $11. $11 plus? Plus shipping. Plus shipping. So we'll make nine, 10 bucks on that. We sold a lot of baseball dvds yay all right that's that stack so we've got a whole stack of baseball themed dvds here bull durham bad news bears bleacher bums beer league hardball field of dreams like there's a bunch of them in there individually they're worth a buck or so a piece i mean people are selling them for nothing and free shipping we lotted them up and we sold them like this and we got what out of that $34 free shipping. So we'll still make 25 bucks on it. And there's one, two, three. nine. So we did, it's not much, but for the stack and we've got, you know, almost nothing in it. Almost three bucks a DVD. Yeah. And otherwise we'd have had to basically put these back on a garage sale because individually they just wouldn't sell on eBay worth enough to bother. I mean, there's like a dollar 99 of free shipping. Still don't know how people are doing that. Even with media mail, you're losing money at that. Um, we sold one of your graded SGC cards. We sold... Tim Krumry from the Cincinnati, Cincinnati Bengals. All right, so that's that guy there. And these came from our little card grading experiment we did where we had a bunch of open cards anyway that we opened and probably shouldn't have. We picked the best of the best out to send in for grading. Ones that looked like they were even worthwhile to grade. And this one sold for how much? $45 plus shipping. So we made maybe 20 bucks after the grading fees and stuff on him. So did okay. I, I wouldn't recommend grading a bunch of cards because overall I think we're going to lose quite a bit of money on that little experiment. But with the cards themselves over here selling by the box, we're making more than enough to play around like that once in a while. We sold a 1989 vintage flight attendant Barbie. All right, that's her. She's yeah. actually called Flight Time. It's like she doesn't have her outfit or accessories, so nope. it's just the naked Barbie. Yep. And we got her from like a, like a secondhand thrift shop 
type whatever, mostly because there was no garage sales to be had. So we were shopping at thrift Pipe stores. Stone. and That's where we got her. Pipestone. Yep. Sorry. So what is what did we have in her and what did she sell for? I think I paid a buck for her and she sold for $14.99. Barbie's hit again. Um, speaking of no garage sales, they are starting to kind of file back in now. We're starting to see more garage sales. And we had our first two community garage sales kind of kick off this past weekend, which we did get to attend quite a bit. We had to do a lot of running around to hit both, but we did get to kind of get in on both different community sales. Well, one community sale, one citywide sale. But I guess the important part of the garage sale season coming back around is not just myself, but... Grams is now wearing a GoPro to the garage sales. So we're gonna have twice the footage. So instead of seeing my ass, you get to see Corey's ass. The people want what the people want. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who wants that, but. So we typically don't, if you watch the channel, you know we typically don't do a lot of garage sale footage. Part of that is because of the time we started our garage sale was August, September of last year. We were running out of garage sales and then we hit winter we didn't have a backlog of garage sale footage to do nope. and part of that's just because we enjoy this type of video more than the garage sale type of video that being said it seems like a lot of you guys like the garage sale footage more than this type of footage well i think there's a big audience for both but we're going to start throwing some of the garage sale footage up we'll see how it works out so on the topic of wearing cameras when dudes wear cameras people just point at them and say what is that however at one of my garage sales this weekend I had some dude come up to me and like almost touch my boob saying, what is that? Perks of the job, right? No, there's no perks of the job for some dude touching your boob. <laughs> well, not my boobs. Not my boob either. Anyways, keep your hands to yourself while you're garage sailing. So you can expect more garage sale footage from us, at least through this garage sale season. We'll see how it works out. We'll see how it's accepted on the channel. You guys let us know if you like it or don't like it. We'll adjust accordingly. Uh, in the meantime, we've still got more items to pull, so... What do we got next? Um, the next thing we sold was somebody messaged just about it. They are Caskey Kids baseball figures. They wanted to know if we had a certain number. That's that little guy. All right, so we got these guys and we have an incomplete set, right? Mm -hmm. So we don't have the whole thing. And rather than try and sell it as an incomplete set, looking at comps and other things, we decided to go ahead and part it out and sell mm -hmm. them individually. So this one, number 22, actually sold by himself. Mm -hmm. We sold the case itself by itself. Mm -hmm. And between those two, I think we're already like $20 in, in well, sales. I, I think we only paid like three bucks for it at yeah. somewhere. And this one sold for how much? $9.95. And what did the case sell for? $16.95. Yeah. So we're like, we're like $20 in. We've only sold two pieces and we have the other, I don't know, 15 pieces left. Yeah. There's, I don't know how many there are. This is, I don't know. A lot of people would just sell this as a, bundle and get rid of it and be done with it at one sale for 15 20 bucks whatever doing it this way is going to take possibly a year or two to sell them all but i think you're going to get way more money out of it so i don't think there's a wrong answer for how to do this whichever way works for you if you've got the storage and these take up no space mm -hmm. and you don't mind waiting the time i think this way might end up being more profitable but it is nice to get that inventory done and out and gone so what else do we got we sold a Frontier remote. So that guy there. And we have the remote control and the instruction book that goes with it. That I believe came from the Amazon bin store. So we've got a buck in this. We sold, we have a dollar in that and we sold it for $9. With garage sale being back here, one of the sales we got to go to was actually our own city's community wide sale, or it's a city wide sale. We're in a small local community. 7,000 population, 10,000 when college is in. Yeah, so it fluctuates with the college the school being in and out. We were really excited for that to roll around because we don't get to source here this close to home very often. We usually drive an hour to go source and we were kind of disappointed in this one. I sourced baby clothes for the grandbabies. That's what I sourced. That's all there was. Yeah, I think that is about all we got. I... No, I bought two things on the garage sales here. One is a home interior snowman set and the other is a, win I think it's called a winter wonderland Christmas like thing that you point on your wall and it oh, it's shows a projector a picture. thing. Yes. Yeah. The, the sales here were horrible and we found out after talking to some other people why they were so horrible. I think there was a total of 17 sales and one was canceled. Yeah. Um, but we found out 
through third parties that in this city, for the citywide garage sale, there's a spring and a fall one, but for both of them, it's controlled by the newspaper. And in order to put your sale on the community-wide sale, you have to buy an ad in the paper for like 20, 30 bucks. 20 bucks, I think. So if you wanna participate, you have to pay to participate. That isn't gonna fly in this small town. So people just don't participate. They just don't do it. I mean, the, the problem with that is obvious and the downfall of it was really obvious because to have a citywide garage sale with 15 sales and really nothing at them wasn't a great deal. So hopefully that'll change over the years, but it sounds like it's been that way for a long time. So I don't know, we might have to start our own citywide sale. We'll see what happens, but we don't like the citywide sale here and it's not ran well. And I don't think it's good for the city either. Citywide sale should bring people in from out of town and this definitely does not do that. So there's not a lot to say about that other than our citywide sale sucked. But we did really, really good on different... the one in the other in the other town. Yep, another community sale, way smaller than our city, but they they came, they showed up. They had, I don't know if they had listings. Like a lot of them in the big town, there's one that's coming up this coming weekend that they do a whole listing. I don't know. There was quite a few garage sales where we could get out at the one in in the town close to us that we walked to like three or four and then went and got back in the car. Yeah, and you didn't do that here. They were few and far between, so. Yep. They're starting to show up more and more. I'm sure we'll see more community sales that are good, but we're starting to see which ones are bad too. So that's all information that's good for us to know. What else? So, so the next thing, I'm gonna have you grab both items just because it was to one person. So we sold two packs of the white football cards and a tender heart Care Bear. So that's these guys here. And here's the little tender heart Care Bear. All right, so we got these two here. Was he supposed to have something back No, there? those are how they attach them to the boxes. Oh, so we have these two things here going out to one person, and that order did say repeat buyer, but I don't know if that's because he bought both these or if it he is. was already repeat. No, it is. Not sure if it was a viewer or not. That's a weird thing to order together if you're not. Whether you are or not, thank you for that order. And what did those sell for? Um, the Care Bear sold for $7.99, and then the two packs of football cards, we accepted an offer for eight bucks a piece, so they sold for $16 total. Yep, so good order, and that'll all fit in a little four by six by eight box really easily, and still go out first yep. class. Yep. All right, what else do we got? I don't know where we got this from, but it's a Bed Bath & Beyond. It's a Bed Bath & Hold Beyond. On. You got a boogie, other side, right up front. I think you got it. Why are you looking wasn't... at my booger? I hope that wasn't there the whole time. <laughs> well, I guess if it is. Up next is we bought a Bed Bath & Beyond. Hold on, I got it's my nose now. We sold a Bed Bath & Beyond married couple mug set with luggage tags. Is that one there? I think that was something I picked up at the bin store. I don't think it was. I think I bought it at a garage sale and I think it paid like a buck for it. Only because it was something that they had gotten. If you register with Bed Bath & Beyond, they will give you, flip it over so you can actually read it right. Oh. Isn't that the store that's going out of business? It is. So if you watch our previous videos, you'll see Bed Bath & Beyond is actually filing bankruptcy and liquidating. So if you're looking Ooh, for deals- starts. We might have to go up there. Yeah. If you're looking for deals, their local stores are all gonna be liquidating inventory, shelving, the whole nine yards. I know when, was it JCPenney's here or Sears? In the Sears. mall. When Sears did it, like they sold everything, like the light fixtures, the shelving, the pallet jacks, everything has to go, so. But yeah, that's it. I think it's from when you register for a- Yeah, a, it looks like What it. do you call that thing? A, a registry? Wedding registry. Yep. Because it actually says on the back, the wedding and gift registry, Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> okay, so that sold for $14. So we sold your vintage Arizona weird purple hat. Right, so that's that one there. They are the diamond backs. Yes, and believe it or not, when we bought that, I saw it still had the tag on it. I think we gave next to nothing for it. Um, there's the tag. I had no idea what this was. I just thought it was a cool design. It wasn't until later researching it that I figured out this was actually a baseball team. But somebody must have known it was baseball because they bought it. And what did that sell for? 12 bucks. 12 bucks plus shipping. So I think we, we had less than a buck in it to buy it. I'm certain of it. I wouldn't have bought it otherwise. We need one more pack of white baseball cards. Just the individual pack in there for those wondering white baseball cards means 1988 cello pack 
<laughs> NFL cards. We have Tops. white boxes and we have yellow boxes. That's my way to so differentiate. For viewers who do not know about the white 1988 boxes. Tops football cards. Cello pack, not wax pack. Yes. And they're all sold for? Full price of $8.50. Right. Plus shipping. What do we got next? We sold another Nintendo bath bomb. It's that guy there. So I think with the Mario movie being out, oh, I these didn't... things probably got a little boost in the store and they sold it. It is a bath bomb. Um, I think it has a little toy in it. Yeah, and it is sealed new. We got a couple of them from the bin store. Nope, we got two of them from our storage unit. Storage unit, yep. So what'd that sell for? $7.50. There you have it. Thanks, Mario. And lastly for today, we sold some more jewelry. We sold a coral and silver beaded necklace and earrings. So that's that one there. All right, so I'm hoping for big money on this one. This is again out of our jewelry jars. Yep, and it has the earrings and the necklace set. So and it's a matching. set, yep. And we have heard that sets are kind of the way to go if you can get a jewelry or a necklace and earrings or bracelet or whatever. If you have a set, they tend to sell better. We have that one, which is coral. And then we also have an identical set that's like a aqua yep. turquoise teal color. But those ones sold for $22.99 plus Boom. shipping. Sorry, I lied. $22.99 free ship. We got one jar of jewelry almost paid for out yep. of three sales. So yep. those, are doing, those are doing well. I don't know. Maybe we're selling them to movie sets. They need some vintage stuff to wear on the movie sets. Maybe that we're didn't. just selling them to grandma. Well, that lady's name was Carrie. Oh, no, it was Patricia. But Patricia isn't an old lady name. There's a lot be. of people. Huh? It could be. No. Patty, tell us your age. I have a cousin named Patty. And a second cousin named Patricia. Maybe St. Patty. That's old. No. That would order the green one, I think. All right, what do you got next? That's it. I said, and lastly, did you not catch my lastly? I didn't catch it. That's all I got. All right, so that is it for this video. We, we're gonna get these, we're running a little bit. Nah, 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 nah. We are running a lot behind today because somebody had to watch videos this morning. All right, so that's the last of it for today's videos. We're running a little bit late today because I spent a little too much time watching the reseller clickbait podcast. Thanks, Ken and Jimmy. Um, but we've oh. got packing to do. No, but we watched Jimmy and Sonia too. We did. Uh, we watched for Sonia. We, we Sorry, do. Jimmy. Sorry, we do, Jimmy. <laughs> so I commented on it. Sonia has an infectious smile. You look at her and she's smiling and it can't help but make you smile. I like Sonia. I look forward to meeting Sonia in September. That said, we are behind on packing and we like to get to the post office before three o'clock. So we're going to get these bundled up and packaged and labeled. We'll get them out of here and we will see you guys next time. Hasta la vista. Baby.